Hi. I want to talk about the Gothard Tunnel opening ceremony. Hey, you recognize her, right? I mean, that's a familiar face. You know, her, oh, what's all I got in my, I must have some kind of schmutz or something. Uh, I can't even get that off. Anyway, you recognize her, right? Yeah, uncanny, isn't it? <laughs> Weird. Uh, I don't know, I got some stuff on the end there. It looks like, it looks like it's giving her a little Hitler mustache. I got some junk on there, I don't know why. It's just a mistake. Anyway, I want to watch the Gothard Tunnel opening ceremony. And I want to, I want you to watch this with me. Because I want to draw some things home, drive some things home to you. This is also a good episode to use if somebody's a beehole to you. If somebody's being a real jerk about your conspiracy-minded stuff. And you're like, you don't understand, there's this thing called CERN, the Hadron Collider, and they're weird occultists, and everything they do is about Saturn and horns and all this kind of stuff. And, and, and your friends will say, that's not true. You show them this, and they're not going to sleep right for a while because... It forces you to deal with some things, and I want to strive them when we watch this. Okay, this is a tunnel opening ceremony video. The music, pay attention to the music the whole time. It sounds like the music of a horror movie. It sounds like Kalima Shuk today, when they're going to like pull somebody's heart out, right? It sounds like the music from a ritual. The imagery that they use in this tunnel opening ceremony looks like a Rob Zombie film. It looks like a Lady Gaga performance. It looks like Katy Perry's every performance she's done at Music Awards in the last two or three years. It's all black, white, and red. It, it's okay, we've got orange here, but these are symbolizing the tunnel workers are gonna lose their shit and go into a weird orgy states and take off their clothes and stuff. And then, you know, this whole thing, you know, you know when they open a tunnel and they spend eight million dollars for the one day, one time only opening event where they build a huge production, an eight million dollar production. Let me ask you this, are those monitors, those screens gonna stay on the wall? Like, they're, they're not projections, right? They're not projections of light onto there. Like, those are flat screens, right? They're gonna, they're gonna stay there to give the like, when people are, they're gonna have commercials like Blade Runner or something, it's the future. Cause I'm guessing all this craziness is, well that, like how are they projecting that there? Are these all flat screen monitors like all over the walls of this thing? Like what, how are they doing it? And why are they doing it? Why are these wicked eyes, now everybody's being shown in blue light? The blue bloods, why is the guy this weird staff? So you're going to see light changes. Okay, they're in this weird blue, blue light. I said black, white, and red, right? Well, you're going to see the blue light. You see the workers coming in. But all the light's going to change to red. The music is all... Duh. And then this, the devil comes out and goes... Bleh, bleh, bleh. You know, for a tunnel opening ceremony. You know, when you invite everybody into the hangar of the, the train station to go through the tunnel, and they get in a train station, and you say, well, now we are going to... All the brave people who built this tunnel. Some people died making the tunnel. Let's honor them and remember them. A moment of silence. Then you cut the ribbon in front of the, the door to get on the train. And then everybody gets on the train, right? And they get to walk past the chancellor. The chancellor gets on first or whatever it is. And then you get to go through a nice little public relations train ride through the tunnel to the other side. And maybe, maybe, if it's a big deal tunnel, They'll have a concert or something, and food, but definitely be like something you sit down, there'll be some food, some merriment, tasteful. Why are they doing, uh, why are they doing tunnel workers on trapeze and playing this music that's dark? This isn't going to be like, oh, we worked really hard. You know, like, you might be, you might be in, showing this to a neophyte person that doesn't know what this is, and you're going, okay. You're gonna watch these people scramble. They're working really hard to build the tunnel. It's like a modern interpretive dance thing. It's all, you know, for the wealthy elite. They have to sit through it. Wow, look at that, really involved. They have the scaffolding that, that tracks back and forth. Look at that. It tracks back and forth across the building. Eight million dollars to do this. Is this part of what they always have in there for operating the train for the tunnel? What the hell? Like, okay, maybe that's always there and has purposes, but they're using it as part of this whole event. This never gets better, is my point. This never cheers up. Oh, we worked really hard, we built the tunnel, yay. The only 
The only thing you get that's close to we built the tunnel and we worked really hard, yay, which doesn't make any sense for a tunnel opening, is that the Pope comes in in a Pope mobile and it says that the Catholic Church, here we go, here's some sex magic and, and, a, and a fallen angel, a fallen, a pansexual angel, because this is a dude. Let me go back to the other thing. Anyway, fuck it, we'll talk about this now. So what is, so anyway, the, we'll talk about the Pope when the Pope comes. But why is the Pope come at all? Why is this a man, I think that's a man, with fake boobs, doing some kind of weird androgynous baby head thing? It's like a fallen angel or a Baphomet character or whatever. Why is this for, you know, for opening a tunnel? And why is it a ceremony, when we get to the, out, it has an inside part and an outside part. The outside part is fucked, we'll get to that, right? It's so strange. Everything about this. Now why is the orgy happening? On this, the train cars for the, okay, so, okay, all these workers are dead now. And these horny people are here. And here comes this, is that a man or a woman? Because it definitely has breasts. And it's a topless, you know, topless tunnel opening ceremony. Where weird, creepy, Rob Zombie, baby head thing. Something from uh, some kind of weird video game. Now these people are contorting. All these tunnel workers are contorting as this angel of death flies or whatever the hell this weird. Why is the music so menacing? It's gonna be consistent throughout. Consistent themes. Horns, goat horns, black, white, and red. The goat man, the baffle man, this the guy's gonna come up with a taxidermy goat head on and prance around. You're gonna see puck, you're gonna see forest spirits, you're gonna see people die and get taken over by forest spirits, you're gonna see multiple reoccurring themes for a motherfucking tunnel opening, opening ceremony. All right, that that's tied to a Hadron Collider. And guess when all this shit's going down? June 1st, 2016. What happens June 1st, 2016? It's the time when Saturn's been closer to the Earth, closer than it's been in a long, long time, like way long. What do you know? That's the day, the day they're gonna do this tunnel opening ceremony. Where I guess this guy's supposed to represent like, um, maybe some sort of voice or reason, like, he's the guy, he, he's the guy like, wait, everybody, I'm screaming, I'm banging chains, I'm banging at the fences, I don't know. Do they use that over there? This guy's like, nobody hears him. Maybe he's supposed to be like the voice of reason. I don't know what this guy represents, but it's all bad. Why does this look like Industrial Symphony Number no. 1? Why does this whole thing look like uh, pr art production designed by David Lynch? Yeah, look, I think that's, that's like fake boob implants or something. What is that? Why do those boobs look so strange? That's a man. So that, does that mean androgyny? Why are these people watching this? What, who is that dude? Who is that dude? I'm not backing up. I'll back up if I want to. Okay, but this guy's banging his chains to like no avail. They're pushing his card out. Isn't that interesting? Uh, and also, he's banging his, nothing's happening. And these people are falling to the ground. I don't know what's happening now. They were, what's gonna happen to them? Are they gonna get possessed now? Yeah, probably, because what we're gonna see coming up, pay attention for it, is we're gonna see these worker people in orange, these tunnel workers, are, we're gonna see forest, we're gonna see these weird spirits come in that look like this weird door, uh, Denmark Christmas tradition type shit that they have, where, yeah, these things. This Doesn't this look like the thing from Denmark and Scandinavia and Norway, where they dress up and they come out in those like green man suits that they make out of pine branches and stuff like that, and they're kind of creepy. Well, I don't know what these things are supposed to be, but they're definitely spirits. So what we're gonna see is the merging of the factory workers, I mean, not the factory workers, of the tunnel diggers in the orange suits. You're gonna see the merging of them with these, right? It's, I, I, I think it's symbolic of some sort of possession, right? Because that's why they'll have orange bottoms. So they keep, this is your tunnel opening ceremony. Why the hell do they have a horned, goat-headed man Listen to these sounds. Why is this, why is, why is the eraser head soundtrack? Why is industrial, why is it scored by fucking, not even Ad, Angelo Badlamenti? Why is it scored by just occult rhythmic drumming? You know what I mean? Like, here's your, you know, Charlie Sheen it goes down to uh, Haiti 
and gets taken in by Serpent in a Rainbow, whatever the hell that shit was. Why is all the music that? Why is it black and red? Look at the audience. They're all wearing black. They're all dressed the same. And they're all wearing, they're black with red ties. When you see these people go outside in the light, you're going to see the wealthy elite be uncomfortable. Look, it's one of those crystal foxes from, it's a crystal hedgehog from The Last Jedi. No, that's a sim symbolic of something. I, I forget now. I think I might have talked about it in my other video. Uh, look, you got these weird things coming out. Why is this your tunnel opening ceremony? They're, they're le releasing something. The black ooze. S you see that? She she opened a thing and something black's gonna like flap to this. Why did she open something black? Why is this a tunnel? Why is this a tunnel opening ceremony? Why is there a horned goat guy stumbling around? Why is the Baphomet stumbling around? And look at this. What? This is what I'm talking about, reoccurring imagery, horns. Are you supposed to be far spirits or nature? Disembodied nature being spirits, like evil things. But look, horns. Horns is, is, is reoccurring through this entire event. Why? Why? What, does, what bearing does Saturn being close to the Earth when they do this event? And why is everything with horns? Because Saturn is like the horn, Saturn is represented by the gorn, horned god. Saturn is like the devourer of worlds, the, the something like that. He, he, Saturn is depicted like eating children and all this other weird shit. Um, it, it, it's um, like Baal, Babylonia, the horned god, androgyny, all these things. How many tail foxes that, what, what kind of tails are those? Why is, why is this like, some art product productions like, oh, guess what? I got the Gothard Tunnel opening ceremony. What's the production gonna be? Let's plan this big show. It's gonna take months of planning and choreography because they have people hanging from stuff. There's people hanging from ropes where if they fall, they just fall. They're doing like, they're risking themselves. They're climbing these ribbons. Not only that, they're wearing, all wearing horns. All these people climbing ribbons wearing horns except for the faceless woman with the, all the tails. Why is this the symbolism of a tunnel opening? This is all specific. Do you know this? And what's also very eerie to me is that this happened in 2016. Look at your Katy Perry Grammy Awards. Look at your Kesha video. Look at all the latest videos, Snoop Dogg in church. All this stuff. They're all like black masses. Look, there's some kind of weird like African tribal stuff. Now they're coming in. It's more David Lynch. Look, it, it, it looks like, are they all coming in with I am the right arm. He's, are they going to put a wad of gum on the top of this now? This looks like they're carrying props from Twin Peaks Return. Okay, now put all the dead sycamores over here and then we'll animate over them. And, we'll, and look, there's the horny pan gyrating with his crotch. Emphasis on that. That's what he's doing. And there, he's, he's leading the call of, are these worshippers? Are these devotees? Why are all these skulls? It's all horns. You know, when you cut a ribbon and open a tunnel. What? No, it's not some Bjork stuff. It's all very specific. Is that goat hair? What What kind of hair is this shit made out of? It's all specific. Why is this opening a tunnel? Look, the sheep, the sacrificial, sh the sacrificial sheep. It's all part of their weird shit. It's so downbeat. Listen, they're playing the bells. Listen to the music. Look. They've got the puck, the pan, the goat-legged man prancing around. What is this madness? How does this relate to, we've got a new tunnel. Let's talk about the tunnel. Why do they need this tunnel? Why did it get built? I don't, you know, like, did they, did they really need to make this tunnel? And did this tunnel, it, that cost so much to be made, okay, well, these all the people here watching this show, they probably paid for it, right? The people, they'd have to be, they're the wealthy elite. The audience to this show that is now lit in red, that were first shown as, blue, as the blue bloods in blue light, are now bathed in red, because they're, they're in the ritual. This is a ritual we're watching here. We're, we're, not, we're kind of participants in a ritual. Why?